guys! In this tutorial, I'll show you how to use the cool new feature of M2N sewing in Marvelous Designer 5.5. So basically, what this new sewing type is, is that you can sew any amount of segments, you first select how many segments you want the initial amount to be, onto any amount of other segments. So let me demonstrate it. I'll take here my segment sew tool, select M to N segment sewing, and basically I want to sew on all these little danglers onto these bottom segments here. And uh, let's say I'm not good in math and I don't want to start counting together lengths and seeing how much I should sew this one onto the front. Should I sew these five onto the front or should I sew these two onto this part and then those three onto this part? And how about the back? Should I sew these ones or these ones here and then these ones here and you know it can get complex especially if you have many of these danglers or any other pattern that you want to sew on and you don't want to calculate how how many to put in what part in order to do it evenly so long story short i'm going to click here and then here and then here and then here because these are the segments that i want to sew all of these onto then i'm going to click enter on my keyboard and then i'm going to start sewing, making sure that my notches are facing the right way so that my seams don't get tangled. And I'll just keep clicking until I've selected all of these patterns that I want to sew on. And then I'll press enter again. And then now we have all of these sewn on in a way that's most even and that they all fit in the best manner onto all these different segments. I purposely made them different sizes and different widths so that we can see, you know, how this tool figures it out nicely. And it does. You can see here this one got some wider um, st stretch for it to be sewn on and this one's wider so it got some more sewing space. And this one's a very narrow one so it got sewn on the edge here, narrower. And because this pattern here is sewn in the middle, for the dress and this one's so fat he didn't manage to fit completely here so as you can see there's a little bit here that's sewn onto here and all of these things we didn't have to think about marvelous did it all for us as you can see this one also he didn't fit on the front part of the dress because he was so wide so it got divided and he was sewn partially onto the back and that's very nice because we didn't have to go doing them one by one or figuring it out or you know calculating any terrible math in our head and then all I will do is take these ones that belong in the back and move them to the back. Give them a flip and then we can simulate. And none of them are bunching up, none of them are sewn too, you know, if you sew too short a segment onto a different one, you can get things bunching up or stretching out strangely. Of course, it depends how many of these things you have. If you had less of them and you wanted to sew just four of them onto all of these long segments, four narrow ones, they would stretch out. And you can see they are stretching a bit because, you know, th there's an uneven number in the length here compared to one of these. If I would take my sewing and just delete that, and add a few more, we wouldn't get that stretching thing. So let's just copy this one, and this one maybe, and maybe this one also. Just give us, us and ourselves another few here. And then take our segment sewing tool again. M to N segment sewing, that is. Enter. And if you by mistake click on something wrong, you can always hit delete or backspace on your keyboard. I'm on a Mac keyboard, so it's delete by me, but on Windows it's backspace. And then that takes you right back to the step you are before. So you don't have to go redoing it. If you screw up here, just do backspace and then continue. And if you wanted to cancel, just press escape on your keyboard. And then press enter again when you're done. 
and there we've got all these new seams done up nicely and there you can see now because we have more of these and it's probably more of an even difference as you can see there's not such a big difference there's a difference of 87 that's the red number there when I hover over it difference of 87 so one of these is longer than the other one and I think that's the yeah I think the 949 that's all those danglers so you can see it's almost the same number almost matching up 862 with 949 and the closer that the numbers are matching the less distortion you'll get so here it looks pretty straight the connection I'm talking about if these were many more with a longer length than what you're sewing them onto eventually they will start bunching up so let me give you some examples Let's just take this guy here make him really fat and there you can see he's starting to bunch up and it also depends on your particle distance the lower the particle distance the more detail you'll see of course and also the fabric but there you can see we're starting to get some Some gathers and that would happen to all of them if there were more of them or if they were wider than what you're sewing them onto and if the if you had many less that you were sewing onto the dress let's just make an example here say we just got five or six of them Then you can see what's happening when, let's bring her back, when there's a very big difference in the seams, when these are shorter than the length they're sewing onto, they're getting really stretched. And if I look at our strain map, you can see that it's, it's nearly bursting the fabric, trying to fit these lengths to these. So just keep that in mind when you're sewing things, to do your best to keep the numbers as close as possible matching you can hover over it and then you'll see it unless you want to have special effects like the gathers and that's basically about m to n sewing oh yes and you can also do m to n with the free sewing tool not just with the segment sewing one so the free sewing one lets you sew anywhere you want not just from one point to another between one point to another all right so that's the new features and see you in the next tutorial